yourself with sunlight. You talk about the fat connection. Does that mean the fats we eat, or does that mean if we are fat, that's going to pose a problem? No, it's mostly the fats that we eat. Oh, that's good news. <laughs> yes. The, you know, the fat itself is a protection you know, in any case. Uh, why do people accumulate fat? It's because they have to accommodate uh, certain substances and you know, toxic material that otherwise would damage uh, you know, the body by entering the bloodstream. So the fat is protecting you in that sense? The, the fat absorbs poisons, toxins. Okay. So it, and you, you may need more fat cells to do that because you make more poisons or toxins. So it's so serving a role there. It's a, oh yes, definitely. Yeah, again, what we yeah, determine to be an illness like obesity, mm -hmm. it's a survival yeah, mechanism. It's a protection. Yeah, it's, it's the body okay. trying to uh, surround toxins with uh, fluids, like lymph fluids, mm -hmm. and eventually your know, fat cells that will almost serve like a buff buffer, a protection uh, to make sure that the blood is at least as healthy as it can be. And, right. and so that's a protection. Now with eating the fats that are damaging fats, and there are plenty around, um, most of the fats that are used in modern cooking are fats that are refined oils mm -hmm. that are already heat treated that have a fair amount of what is known as trans fatty acids. And these are faulty acids. The body has no, no way to get rid of them or to digest them. So they will slip into the uh, bloodstream mm -hmm. and they will get into the tissues and they will embed themselves in the cellular membranes. And that makes the cellular membranes very um, you know, slippery or impenetrable to certain nutrients, including mm -hmm. oxygen. So All once right. you have lack of oxygen getting into the cells, then that's a great disadvantage. Uh, the cell may drop its metabol metabolic rate, or it will, you know, if, if necessary, convert into a cancer cell in order to mm -hmm. deal with that now very toxic um, you know, encasement. So it'll mutate. It okay. will you know, need to mutate. Now when uh, you're exposed to the sun, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, fats like fats are lighter than f water, so they rise to the surface of the skin. All and right. uh, so then that can cause more damage to the skin. So you don't want to eat fats that are uh, refined, like french fries, the, the, the oil mm -hmm. that they use, and use it often over and over again mm -hmm. it's until it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah. you have you know, these you fats which are heated to a point that they will all uh, develop very, very highly damaging trans fats. So eating, heating oil is a, is a dangerous thing. You don't want to heat oils um, to the point that they are like in fried food. And so many eat, people eat fried foods and you mm -hmm. see that in their appearance, in their tummies, they are all getting swollen tummies. Um, they get you know, lymph congestion in their mm -hmm. cisterna chili vessel and the main, main lymph drainage you know, uh, station in the body. And then from there the body starts you know, co congesting the rest of the lymph um, mm -hmm. And then you start putting on weight, and then fat you know, obviously can no longer be broken down properly and eliminated by the lymphatic system, and then the body is just uh, accumulating, becoming bigger. Right, but in terms of your skin and the sunlight, is it like if you eat that kind of fat, the trans fatty acids, it's kind of like frying your skin? It will basically go to the skin, and your skin will become susceptible to damage much faster. Any kind of highly acid forming food like trans fatty acids mm -hmm. or uh, animal protein like meat, chicken, fish, eggs, uh, they will, uh, because they're highly acid forming, so they are causing the body to become a pool of acid instead of being a pool of alkalinity. 80% mm -hmm. of the body is supposed to be alkaline. Right. And uh, the more we eat highly acid forming foods, the more. We, be, we develop acidosis, different levels of acidosis. That means an over acidification of the tissues. If the skin becomes acidified uh, you know, to, to beyond you know, repair, the, the body can no longer okay, repair so itself. Okay, so your skin becomes acidified. Then it becomes permanently damaged and it will start showing you know, constant like chronic skin problems. And skin cancer is simply a form of acidosis. 
All right, so if you're eating those kind of fats, and you're exposed to the sun, you can get skin cancer. Yes, yes. But okay. it's not because of the sun. It's because of the fat it's connection. because of the fat connection. And the reaction between UVA particularly and these trans fatty acids. So there are biochemical changes occurring that produce your byproducts when fats are broken down, bad fats are broken mm -hmm. down, they leave um, your chemicals behind that are extremely carcinogenic. All right. And so you don't want to have those fats here coming into the body if you, if you can avoid them. So actually you should stay out of the sunlight if you're eating French yes, fries. Yes, and then your vitamin D goes down and then you're again prone to many other illnesses. And you really need to be less acidic. Yes. So it's a win-win situation. Avoid those fats, go out mm -hmm. in the sun. Um, Otherwise, uh, you're, you're interfering with the most basic functions in the body.